lesson, I'm going to show you how to solve trig equations that look like this. So equations where sine, cos and tan aren't already the subject of the equation. So in the first question, we have to solve 2 cos x minus 1 equals 0 for values of x between 0 and 360 degrees. I've done a quick sketch of the graph y equals cos x for this one because we're solving for cos x. So I'm just going to start by writing down this equation again over here. And the first step you have to do is rearrange the equation so that cos x is the subject. So just rearrange the equation so that it says cos x equals, and all the other numbers are on the right hand side of the equation. So if I'm rearranging this to make cos x the subject, first I'm going to add 1 to both sides. So when I do that, I'm left with 2 cos x on the left hand side and positive 1 on the right hand side. Next, I have to divide by 2 on both sides. So if I divide by 2 on the left, this just cancels to give me 1 cos x. And here on the right hand side, I'm left with a half. So remember, this is the sketch of y equals cos x. And now the y value has been changed to a half. So if I look at the sketch, y is a half around about here. I'm just going to draw a dashed line to show the line y equals a half. Okay? Because where that dashed line intersects our curve y equals cos x is the same thing as finding the solutions to this equation over here, cos x equals a half. Now, Although these are all solutions, we're not interested in all of these solutions because the x values must fall within this range given in the question, so between 0 and 360. You should be able to see that this intersection point has an x coordinate that's going to be negative. Okay, so it doesn't fall between these numbers, so we're not interested in that solution. These two points, however, both have x coordinates that fall between 0 and 360. So we want to work out the solutions of those two points, i.e. the x coordinate of those two points. So we're solving this equation to work out the value of x. And to find the first solution, all you have to do is type into your calculator cos minus 1 of this value here, so a half, and you should find that it's equal to 60 degrees. Okay, so that's this first solution here. 60 degrees is here. So this falls within the range 0 to 360. So we know this is definitely a solution. Remember, if we take just this section of the graph y equals cos x, it's symmetrical. Okay, here. This is the line of symmetry. So if this distance here is 60 degrees from the y-axis to our intersection point, so is this distance here, okay, from 360 to our other solution on the right-hand side. So if those distances are the same, to find out the x-coordinate of this point, we're starting at 360, but we're going backwards 60 degrees. So we're subtracting 60 degrees to find the other solution. So when I do that, I get 300 degrees. So that is the x-coordinate of this intersection point, and so that is another solution to this equation. Any solutions that come after this point on the graph will be greater than 360. So there are two solutions to this equation. Okay, so in the next question we have to solve 5 sine x plus 3 equals 0 for a range of values between 0 and 360 degrees for x. So because I'm solving for sine x this time I've done a quick sketch of the graph y equals sine x and I'm going to start the same way by writing down the equation over here. So 5 sine x plus 3 equals 0. Now I need to rearrange the equation to make sine x the subject of the equation. So that just means rearrange this so that we have sine x by itself on one side and all the numbers on the other. So I'm going to start by subtracting 3 on both sides so that I have 5 sine x is equal to negative 3. Next I need to divide by 5 so that sine x equals negative 3 fifths. 
Okay, so just as before, to work out the first value of x, you can type into your calculator sine minus 1 of negative b fifths, which is negative 36.869 and so on. Okay, so you can see already this value of x is negative, so it doesn't fall within our range of values. So this isn't actually a solution in this question, okay? But it's still going to help us work out the other solutions. So remember, this is the graph y equals sine x. And in our equation, the y value has changed to negative 3 fifths. So if you look at the graph, y is negative 3 fifths approximately here. Okay, so I'm going to draw in the horizontal line y is equal to negative 3 fifths because where that line intersects our graph gives us the solutions to the equation over here sine x equals negative 3 fifths. So these solutions here, the x values of those intersection points, are both negative. Okay, so we don't want those solutions in this question. And this one over here, nine, uh, minus 36.869, is this one. Okay, you should be able to see here the x coordinate is approximately minus 36.9 degrees. Okay, so that's the one we worked out. Remember there's symmetry in this graph, okay? So if you just take this section of the graph y equals sine x, this is the line of symmetry. So if we know this distance here is 36.9 degrees, it should be the same as the distance on the other side, i.e. from the line x equals 180 to the next intersection point, okay? so. If that's true, we can work out the solution here that we need by adding 36.9 to 180 because it comes after 180. So if I work that out, so 180 plus 36.869 and so on. So just be careful here because if you leave this answer on your screen, it's a negative and you have to add a positive 36.869 because it's a distance, okay? So when you do that, you get 216.869 and so on. And I'm going to round my answer to one decimal place. So 216.9 degrees is the first solution for x, okay? And it falls within our range, so it's looking good. So this one over here can be found in a similar way. Okay, remember this distance is 36.9 degrees, so is this, and also this distance at the end, okay, between the line x equals 360 and our intersection point, this is also 36.9 degrees. So because it's 36.9 degrees before 360, this time I have to subtract 36.869 from... 360. Okay, so if I do that, I get 323.130 and so on. So to one decimal place, that's 323.1 degrees.